Hello, this is Donna Lewis with the Clark County Park District. Welcome to Nature's Book Nook again. Today we're going to read Owlet's First Flight by Mitra Motoresi. I hope I pronounced that right. So this book is probably about the similar, this owl is similar to the Great Horned Owl, which lives in Ohio. So you can think of maybe this being about the Great Horned Owl. He looks a little angry. It's, one of, it's our largest resident owl in Ohio. You will sometimes see um, great gray owls occasionally. I may never see one, but supposedly they occur in Ohio occasionally. The only other largest owl that sometimes shows up is the snowy owl when it's migrating. It'll show up sometimes in the winter when it's moving around a little bit. Um, we will see these sometimes, but our res our, for our resident owls, this is the largest owl that we have living in Ohio all year long. They eat a ton of different foods, so they'll eat things like um, lots of rabbits. Rabbits are their favorite food, but they also eat rats and groundhogs, insects, you know, just about anything, because this is one of our best predators in Ohio, so they can eat just about anything. One of the only species known to eat uh, skunks because they can't smell. So let's talk about this little owl in this book, okay? And we're gonna talk about a baby owl called Owlet. So Owlet's first flight. Little Owlet wakes on a moonlit night. His mama says, it's time you took flight. So the baby owl has not left the nest yet to fly. And see, some owls, like screech owls, a lot of times will live in the holes of trees. And they don't make their own nests. They use the nests of other animals instead of making their own. Your brothers and sisters have all flown the nest. I'm sure you can be as brave as the rest. So mama is having a talk with little owlet about, you know, it's time to go. Little Owlet looks a little bit worried to me. But it's dark, he cries. I might lose my way. I'll see fine in the dark, she says. That's when they play. So owls are nocturnal. So of course they can see in the dark. A dip, a drop, but now he is steady. Fly, little Owlet, tonight you are ready. So there he goes. He's taking his first flight. That'd be a little scary as an, a little baby animal, but that's what they're made to do. And there he goes. He's flying over a stream and he sees a house in a farm field. Eek! A dark shadow. What can it be? What is that dark shadow that he sees? Oh, just some branches of an old tree. So he sees some bran the shadow of branches. And who's in those branches? Little, young little squirrels in the nest. And now, little Alec hears a loud pop. Ooh, what could that be? So you see the sound waves traveling? He hears a pop. But it's only some acorns that happen to drop. So some acorns dropped from an oak tree and look who's in the little barn looking at Owlet, a little kitty. And what is that horrible bang clanging sound? So what does he hear now? He's at a farm, I wonder what he could hear. Just some other night critters messing around. Guess what, what do you think might be clanging around at night looking for food? It has a masked face. Okay, raccoons. Boy, they're really smart and they can get into a lot of stuff. So it was raccoons that he heard. Look at you, little owlet, out on your own. The places you've seen, the miles you've flown. So little owlet has gone pretty far from being a little tiny nestling to taking his first flight and flying over the woods and the farm. Oh, what an evening, an owlet's first flight. But it's time to head home now. The sky is almost light. So instead of getting up at light and being asleep in the dark, he is awake at night. So now he needs to get back to his nest, back to his tree, 
when it turns to dawn. He soars through the woods, back to his tree. He's the last one in. Mama's proud as can be. There's his siblings right there, brothers and sisters. He's coming in for a landing. Now little Alec is ready to rest, safe with his family, snug in his nest. So there he is, snug in his nest with the others. The end. So that was Alec's first flight. You can look for this online. You can probably find it there or in your local library. Be sure to ask the New Carlisle Library if they have this book. I picked this book up somewhere, but I'm sure they pr would probably have it or be able to get a hold of it. All right, so that was about, kind of about, a Great Horned Owl. So if you want to learn more about Great Horned Owls, you can go to your local library and look for owl books or look up online for some at some sites like Cornell Lab of Ornithology or Audubon Center, you know, um, National Audubon Society, I should say. Um, there's lots of great sites out there, and the Ohio Division of um, Wildlife has some great information on our animals, and they have these great guides. They have one on owls. There's even a CD that goes with it. So if you get on their site and look at the wildlife section, you can usually find these or search for it on their site. These are great books that talk about the animals that live in our state of Ohio. And if you're in another state, I'm sure that you can find some great animal great information about animals that live there too. All right, thank you for joining me and my friends for another Nature's Book Nook for Alex's First Flight. Thank you and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.